everybody. This is Jay Lee, again with DWA Introductions, Episode 2. Let's see who our lucky candidate is for today. I'm going to stick with going in order because I feel like it gives a little random bias to everything. Or random lack of bias, I guess would be more accurate. All right, we're going to start with Adam Liam. Uh, Adam Liam is basically the equivalent of a take your rules and shove it up your ass, I do what I want kind of guy. He is fully focused on doing anything he has to to get a win, while at the same time, Oops, give me just a sec. At the same time, he is uh, a really power-based wrestler. Uh, as it comes, he is from Victoria, Texas. There is some inspiration based by Stone Cold on him. And if you remember the wrestler Tyson Tonko, that is also some similarities to this character as well in appearance. But more tattooed, more bad boyish gimmick with a very high superiority complex. He thinks he's the best, and sometimes, depending on the match, it's a little hard to disagree. He has a teammate named uh, Jerry. Xander, and uh, he is plain up just a ruthless, aggressive son of a bitch. He doesn't care about anyone's opinions, and uh, he does what he wants. Very egotistical, and for that reason, he is a heel. Uh, his standard gear it's just some black jeans with a boot and some taped up hands. He's got, of course, some piercings, a little bit of goatee, and he is covered in tattoos. Let's take a look at these tattoos so you can get a better look at them. As you can see, he is multi-tattooed layer. With the sword going down, and it looks like the number 5, 6, 10, and 11 in Roman, Roman numerals on his stomach line. His only entrance gear is a standard black silk sleeveless shirt with the initials D-W-A. That he'll enter the ring with. Let's go take a look at his moves, shall we? His moveset, even though his appearance is strongly based more on a badass with a full-on tattoo, egotistical type asshole gimmick, his moveset is strongly based on a power-based version of Stone Cold Steve Austin. So, basically gives Stone Cold a lot of muscles, and that's kind of the mentality you would get. Let's load this up, and we'll go through his moves real quick, so you can see what he's capable of. Alright, we'll start off with, he does a lot of disrespectful things, like a slap. He does a lot of cheap shots, and of course a pile driver, I mean he is a Texas boy, it kind of makes sense. Ugh. 
a couple punches. Sorry if this part gets a little less talkative. You know, there's only really so much you can say about the moves as you go through them. I try to keep the energy up, but I'll be honest, I sometimes have trouble knowing what to talk about. speed through this as quick as possible. Such a brutal knee drop. A little bit of his respect to fuck you right to the face after a uh, kick. Or maybe he'll just come up Grab you by the head. Just hit the shit out of you. He don't care. Bite you in the face. Put you on the ropes and choke the hell out of you. Break attacks. Foot chokes. Shuffle kicks. He doesn't really do much diving, but he does do a little. No springboards. This guy is very similar to the way Stone Cold would wrestle, but a little more buff-based and a little more dirty underhanded. His signature, however, is a middle row Luthes press. He calls the boot down. Then he does the rule breaker, which is basically a uh, sling blade with a little mm on it. His main finisher is a rolling stunner. Honestly, put it's a stunner out of nowhere pretty much, but this was the best looking one in the game. And a sit-out powerbomb. Like I said, <clears throat> he wants to hurt you. And that's kind of the mentality he has for the taunts. A lot of disrespectful stuff. Stone Cold's middle finger. The suck it sign. More Stone Cold stuff. And of course, his paybacks, which have to fit resiliency, because he can actually take a lot of abuse, a lot of my characters can, and a low blow, because why wouldn't he? Let's get to the match. And we'll uh, show off what the guy can do. Not to forget the DWA Arena. A DWA custom match. Extreme rules. Always. Weapons are allowed, but not necessarily needed. Who will he be facing? Ooh. Almost. Will it be a challenge? 
Let's find out. By the way, the name of his stunner he calls the barbed wire drop, and the seed of power bomb is known as the atom bomb, which I realize I forgot to mention. I'll let you know what music he has for his entrance, since I'm pretty sure it mutes it out <laughs> once I actually figure out what music he has, because I'm going to be honest, I've created a hundred guys, I don't remember all their music offhand, and I forgot to look it up beforehand. Oh yeah, I like this guy. I'm actually not entirely sure. Kind of just a hard beat guitar rap. The following contest is an extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring, representing Power Trip from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 275 pounds, Adam Lee. We're looking at some of the most intense. In case you wonder where the water ball bottle went through behind him. One of the most anticipated matches ever. This is the one guy you don't want your daughter dating. He has no problem using people. He has a big match ahead of him. Gonna need a career making performance here tonight. the tallest competitors in WWE history. The personification of intimidation. The Colossus has arrived. And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant, Omas. The size of Omas must be seen to be believed. Looms over the entire ring and the locker room for that matter. Omas is just as powerful as he is towering. You're right about that one, Saxton. Omas truly is one guy you don't, under any circumstance, ever want to mess with. Adam don't care. Big, small. Poke the eyes and a hit the dick. Moss. He steps Same right over the top rope like normal people step over the curb. No, oh, that's a good way, Byron, to set the tone of this match. Let's see if Adam can beat Amos. This is the type of match where anything can happen right away. What can we expect? Well, you're going to see a lot of chaos. It's all about who can control the chaos the best. There are no limits, and every resource is at a superstar's disposal. Oh, oh nothing fancy. Definitely the power the game is off to an early start. Like Escapes in a nick of time. He returns to the ring. Oh! Oh, oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Measured knee drop. From the second row into a code red. My goodness. There's a certain amount of anger you have to have towards your opponent to pile drive them like that. As we all know, anything goes in an extreme rules match. How does one use that to their advantage for it? Well, weapons. They're legal, they're here, and they're ready to be used. It's as simple as that. 
from the rope. And the pressure on Omos continues to mount. Yeah, Omos has to claw away to get back into this. This match grinded him down a little. He brought a weapon in. Adam has no issue using it. Omos with great awareness. in the arm, boom, close line. Oh, close line. Gonna <laughs> carry the round, bad spot to be in. Oh, man, back to the esophagus. Stiff kick. Uh oh Great reversal. what you want. He don't either. Can wear ass in the ring Returning now. Returning to the ring now. Oh, that'll leave a mark. He eludes the contact. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. when superstars get asked about dream matches. Just an unbelievable performance he had tonight, Corey.
Damn it. It doesn't let you pick him up. Delivered into the barricade. to him down below and I'll see you in the next episode. Till next time, peace out.